Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install UE4SS for Oblivion Remastered. And it does offer uh, a button for using Vortex. I don't know how well Vortex works because it's not mentioned in their README. So we're just going to go through and install it manually because it's going to go real quick. So the files they have right here are the UE4SS, and then down here, they have the BP mod loader optional files and the FTEC signatures for Steam, which you may or may not need. Uh, if you need to grab that, you can download all of these and put them in the same file. So I just need to use this one, this main one, because I'm running off of Xbox. It should be noted where you install this is a little bit different depending on where you have your game installed. So it's a good idea to look at this lovely installation readme that they have right here. So there's a guide here for Steam, and really the thing that changes here mainly is where your stuff is installed. So if you're on Steam, you want to look in your Oblivion Remastered folder, and then you want to look for binaries Windows 64. Under Game Pass, it's the same thing, it's just that your Game Pass game is in a different location. You want to look for bi binaries, Windows GDK. And I'll show you where this is here in a moment. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and download our files. I'm going to download the main files here. I'm going to do the manual download, the slow download. And I have an Oblivion Remastered Mods folder that I'm going to stick this in. All nice and set aside for our use today. And while this is downloading, I'm going to locate where my Oblivion game is installed. And there's a really easy way to do this. It works both through Steam and through Xbox. On Xbox, all I have to do is right click the game in question and then go to manage. And then in this pop up, I can browse where the files are located. In Steam, same idea. You can go to any game, let's say Helldivers as an example, because I don't have Oblivion on Steam. I can right click it, I can go to manage, and I can click browse local files. Just do that for your Oblivion install, and then find your Win64 folder. In the case of Xbox, I'm gonna look for my Windows GDK folder. So I'm gonna browse files, and then I want to go to my Oblivion Remastered content, Oblivion Remastered binaries, Windows GDK. And that's where I wanna put my files that I extract for this mod. So I think the mod is now just about ready to finish downloading. Here it is. I'm going to extract it to a file of the same name. And these are the files I need to copy. And then I'm going to paste them into my Windows GDK folder over here. So I'm going to pop these in here and paste them. So now, if I have mods that are controlled by or supported by UE4SS, I open the UE4SS file, and then inside of here is a mods folder, and then you just stick all of the compatible mods inside of here. Pretty easy. And then let's double check the next steps here in their installation readme, just to make sure we're doing this correctly. So once you've got that installed and plunked in, we need to go to make sure that this file is in the correct folder. It needs to be shipping.exe needs to be inside of here. So let's double check that. It's right there. So that's where we want it. And then if you need to install the signatures file, some mods will require it. You can just plunk it right in here as well. And then that's it, installation is now complete. So now we can boot the game and it should work just fine. It'll just boot using that launcher stuff that's now inside of the, the mods folder. So it looks like it is working correctly. So we are good to go. That's pretty much all you have to do. So if for whatever reason you decide that you want to uninstall this later or you need to uninstall this and you don't want to just like re validate your files through Xbox and delete the ones that shouldn't be there. We can go back into our folder. 
for all of this stuff. Go back into Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Go into binaries, win GDK. And then we can just relocate these files that I installed. So I need to delete this one. BW and the README, which I suppose the README is also handy. This has the same installation information that you'll need in order to put this into Steam. And again, the Steam version's in a very similar place. It's just when you open up the files, you'll find it in Oblivion Remaster Binaries Windows 64. And then for mine, it's Oblivion Remastered Binaries WinGDK. It's the only difference. So anyway, I'm going to delete these just to show you how easy it is to uninstall all this stuff. All you have to do is delete that, and then boom, it's completely uninstalled, and you can go about your day playing in the vanilla version instead. But I think I'll leave these here just in case I need them later. And that's it. That's how you install this. And then that's it. That's how you install UE4SS, which complements the um, Oblivion Remastered Script Extender mod very well. Those two go hand in hand for a lot of different mods. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.